Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to use Eco Mode, which is coming to Task Manager in Windows 10. Currently, I am using an evaluation build, so it should show up in the next feature update. I don't even remember when that's supposed to be. It might be this month, May, but it should be pretty soon. But we're going to show you how to use it now, so when it comes out, you're ahead of the curve. So, let's open Task Manager. Press your Windows key plus X and hit task manager so what eco mode is going to do is reduce the priority of any process so we want to look and see what's using the CPU so you can click here as you see there's the most there's the least so you can see what's using the most CPU to see if it's even a problem to begin with And if you have an application that's constantly causing you grief you could set it to eco mode and hopefully your computer will run faster gamers your laptop might actually run its battery a little bit longer stuff like that so there's two places we can look processes and details you can do either one but again details is a little bit different it does show the CPU here so it might help you match them up and all you got to do is right click on anything and let's take Windows Explorer right click now note I stopped there on purpose you see how it's bouncing around as long as you've got the right click on it and this is open it doesn't matter where this moves to just to give you a heads up let's hit eco mode as you can see do you want to turn eco modes on for Windows Explorer turn it on and now you can see it right there again you'd have to come over to details if, it's, if you're nervous and it's bouncing around and then find it there it is right there some of the names are going to be different because these are the executable names. That's the process name. So, all right, let's take a look. So let's see, for example, where to go. Give me that. You hit properties. As you can see, it's explorer.exe. So if I wanted to find Windows Explorer in the details tab, I'd be looking for explorer.exe. So you can do that with any one of these. So once again, it's right click, properties, there's your name. All right, so now Eco Mode is on. As you noticed, I hope, that they do kind of warn you that you could have instability. There's millions and millions of apps out there, so Microsoft can't be sure that every app is going to work with Eco Mode. So if you have a problem with your application, come back in and let's disable it. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to find it. We're going to right-click. As you can see, there's a blue check mark here. All you got to do is click anywhere through here. And when you do, you'll see eco mode will disappear, and that blue check mark will be gone if you check it again. There, you saw it disappear. And as you can see, eco mode is now available again to check. And basically, that's it. It's pretty easy to do. So just don't do a lot of them. Another quick tip if it has a sub process, in other words, Google Chrome has 21 sub processes, probably all the tabs that are open and stuff like that. You would actually have to go in and do that 21 times, which is bordering on ridiculous. I'm going to do one for fun. You'd have to do that 21 times. Either find a better web browser, if that's your problem, or close your web browser, if that's your problem, if that's an option. But clicking that 21 times is kind of ridiculous, so you're going to want to kind of find a problem that isn't something that you need running. And not necessarily a problem, but just to make your computer run a little bit better. And there you have it. It should be showing up soon in Windows 10. And it is called Eco Mode. So there you have it. That's how you run Eco Mode in Task Manager in Windows 10. Something new. Many of us are very used to using Task Manager on a regular basis. And this is one of the few times that they've made, I consider, a pretty significant update or change to Task Manager. It's pretty cool. So there you have it. As always, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can click subscribe if we helped you out. We always appreciate that. We're trying to grow our base, of course. And you can at least click like if we helped you out. That'd be cool. That's about it. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.